and we're, we're here to talk about, I mean, as a filmmaker, you know, when you wa watch this stuff, you want to capture it. So there's something in there which allows you to have distance and not register the event, but say, I'm going to put this here. And last night, coming here through southwestern PA, through West Virginia, and last weekend interviewing workers, Randy Moyer is a worker in, Illinois, uh, in, in southwestern PA who has chemical lesions all over his body. He can't drive over 55 miles an hour without getting dizzy. He gets exhausted from spending three or four hours with his son because he was asked to uh, clean up mud on well pads as a truck driver and transport them, not being told that that mud was all the fracking chemicals that were extracted from that site, the volatile organics from that site, the drilling muds, which are in many cases petroleum distillates in, injected before the wells are cased. Um, and now, after three or four months of working in that industry, um, his life has been changed. Or talk to a worker in West Virginia in the mad rush to drill who have no people on the job there, um, who has a mangled right hand and can't use his right hand anymore. Or the Bevins family in West Virginia who, who lost their son, CJ, on a well pad crushed by machinery, and that you're seven times more likely to die on the job working for the gas industry than you are in the United States average. And we're talking about deals with labor. I mean, we're talking about economic development. Pennsylvania right now is between 41st and 49th in job creation with a booming industry, right? Nobody, everybody's disputing about which number they are actually, they actually are. John Hanger says they're 50th in job creation, but it's, it's in the last eight, right? So how are we going to receive this education? From industry, multinational corporations who would come in here and do a third world exploitation model in America with the president in his home state absent, with the major big green organizations absent, with the legislature absent. Why? Because they're not in the principal's office. They're in the back room or the front room making deals, cutting out the people of, Pennsylvania, uh, of, of, of Illinois. I'm so used to talking about how this happens in Pennsylvania. We don't want to see Pennsylvania recreated. It's a disaster area. We're here to say there's a model that was born in New York out of incredible insistence. And, and they said to us in New York, fracking's a done deal. Four years from now, you know, four years later, it's not a done deal. And Governor Cuomo found out what the people are like when they actually speak. So I'm overjoyed to be here tonight, you know, and let's have a great opening of our grassroots tour. I'm really happy to be in normal. It's normal to stand up for public health. It's normal to stand up for uh, Americans against extractive industry from other countries. It's totally abnormal to watch your democracy fall apart in the face of pressure. Or at least I hope that's Science. abnormal. So, thank you.